Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the coding questions which are asked in today's Accenture hiring. Guys, this exam happened today only that is on 1st April 2022. This is the second video of today's exam that is question 2 I will be discussing in this video. Uh, question 1 video has already been uploaded on my channel. You can watch all such videos under this playlist. Let me just show you. Okay, so, uh, okay, so here it is the playlist. In this particular Accenture coding questions, previously asked Accenture coding questions are also there as well as today in the morning also or you can say in the evening I have made today's first question video also of Accenture hiring. Now in this video I will be discussing question 2. The question 1 video has already been uploaded on this in this playlist. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button or in the description box and guys please make sure that if you have not subscribed to the channel till now please subscribe it because more such coding question video I will be posting tomorrow also and today also plus in the coming days, interviews for Accenture will also be happening. So I will be posting a lot of interview experiences for the Accenture also. So guys, kindly hit that subscribe button and share this channel among your friends so that they can also get help from it. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button. Okay, so guys, here the question name is frequency count. We are given the string. We have to find the frequency of each character in it. Okay, now the input string contains only lowercase letters. The output string should contain a letter followed by its frequency in the alphabetical order. So what we are given in the question, we are given a string in that uh, in we all know string is made up of characters. So we have to find the frequency of each character in it and that string will only contain the lowercase letters that is the letters from small a to small z. Now what should be the output? We have calculated the, calculated the frequency of each character. Now what is the output? The output string should contain a letter followed by its frequency in the alphabetical order. So now let's just understand this line with the help of the example. So first example is B, A, B, D, C. So here you can see that the frequency of B, frequency of B is 2, frequency of A is 1, frequency of D is also 1 and frequency of C is also 1. So we have calculated the frequency of each of the characters. Now, what should be the output? The output string should contain the letter followed by its frequency. So first letter should come and then the that letter's frequency should come in the alphabetical order. So first of all, A will come in the alphabetical order. First of all, A letter will come. Then the frequency of A will come. That is one. So oh, that is one. Then next is letter B will come. Then the frequency of letter B will come. After B, the, in the alphabetical order, C is there. So then C will come and after C, the frequency of letter C will come and in the end D will come and the, then the frequency of D will come. So this is the final output string that we will have to return from our function. So now I hope the question is clear to you. Now I will be discussing the approach and then I will be discussing that how we will have to write the code for this particular question. Okay, now let's just move towards the approach. So what we'll do to calculate the frequency of each letter in the string, we will make an array. We will make an array. This is an array of size 26 because there are 26 alphabets from A to Z. Now this is the array. This starting index will be 0, then 1, then 2, then 3 and so on till last index will be 25. Now this array is a frequency array that we are maintaining. Here 0th index means the value at 0th index means the frequency of A. Again, I'm repeating the uh, the value at zeroth index means the frequency of A. The value at first index means the frequency of B. The value at second index means the val uh, the frequency of C, and so on. And value of twenty five uh, value at twenty five index means the frequency of Z element inside the input string. Now we have declared a now in the starting we have declared an array of size twenty six. Initially, all the values inside this array will be zero. Again, I'm repeating initially we have declared an array of size 26 and initially all the values inside this array will be zero. Now, now what we'll do, we will start to iterate over our input string. So this is our input string B, A, B, D, C. Now we'll start to iterate over the input string and at every character, we will update the frequency of that character in this frequency array. So first of all, our I value will be at B. Now we know that now we B have come. Now in the frequency array, we will have to update the value at the first position because this first index represents the frequency of B. Initially it was zero. So what we will do, let's just say the frequency, uh, the name of the frequency array is ARR. And now we have to, uh, we have to fill the, 
uh, we have to uh, update the frequency of b because our current element is b and we know that the first index in this array represents the uh, represents the frequency of b so what we'll do uh, we, what we'll do we will simply do arr of b that is our current character minus 97 plus equivalent to 1 now what i have done i will explain you inside this question the entire thing is about the sky sky values entire thing is uh, about the sky value so arr and in the square brackets we write the index here but what is the index here b minus 97 and what is the sky value of b it will be 98 minus 97 is the sky value of a therefore 98 minus 97 will become 1 so in the end what we are doing we are updating arr of 1 is equal to plus c equal to 1 so here the value will get updated so now our initially the value of uh, index uh, 1 was 0 now it has been updated to 1 okay so now we are moving to the next let me just delete it now we are moving to the next uh, character that is a so now we are at a so when a we are at a what we are doing we are simply updating the zeroth index of the frequency array and how we will get that index we will get that index by arr of inside the square bracket a minus 97 so whatever the character is minus 97 because 97 is the uh, sky value of small a plus equal to 1 so now we have updated a here is uh, the sky value of a is 97 minus 97 it will become 0 so we are in the end we are updating arr of 0 only arr of 0 only plus equal to 1 so now the frequency of a has again become 1 so now moving to the next iteration now again we will do similar thing we will place here b b minus 97 plus equal to 1 so this index is 1 so earlier value was 1 so 1 plus 1 we will become 2 so here it will be 2 similarly moving to the next index i here will keep it d here will keep it d the uh, sky value of d is 100 so 100 minus 97 becomes 3 so we will update the third index earlier it was 0 now it will be updated plus 1 next character is c so we will do similar things with c here c minus 97 so c is 99 99 minus 97 becomes 2 here 2 so arr of 2 plus equal to 1 earlier it was 0 now plus equal to 1 it will become 1 now we have iterated over the entire string and in the frequency array and in the frequency array that is the above array uh, above array we have got the frequencies of every element now we have to what we have to do the next step is that we have to pre return the output string in the form that our output string should be in the ascending order and uh, after every letter it should be followed by the frequency of that letter so there so now what we will do we will simply iterate our frequency array we will simply iterate our frequency array using a for loop so first of all we are at index 0 so first we will check if our if our arr of i not equal to 0 this condition we are using because to check that whether this particular current character was present in our input string or not so whether our arr of i not equal to 0 so here i initially will be 0 so this if condition will run else we will do nothing inside the for loop so when this if condition will run it means that the current character that is the zeroth index character that was a was present in our string so first of all we will uh, we will take out the character from it how uh, now using the index we will be generating the character earlier what we were doing we were using the uh, using the character to generate the index now we'll be using index to generate the character so you can say that here uh, char ch is equal to current index current index current index that is i plus 97 current index was 0 so 0 plus 97 equal to 97 and this 97 is of the type character so this will be equal to a so now we have got current character here so we will take a, 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 a before the for loop we will take an empty string answer you can say empty string answer and uh, it will be initialized to empty so after we have brought the character what we'll do we'll simply do answer plus equivalent to this character so this character has been uh, appended in the string now after this character what we'll do we have to append its frequency also so after that what we'll do answer plus equivalent to this character's frequency that will be equivalent to uh, you can say arr of uh, arr of i and we will use a method on this arr of i because arr of i will be an integer 
we can use two string method of on this uh, two string method on this particular uh, integer then that uh, then that integer value will be converted into string and then that string will be added to our answer variable so once the for loop is completed we will be returning our answer variable so now i hope the approach is clear to you first of all what we do we have to declare an frequency array in which initially all the uh, all the indexes are zero or you can say all the values at indexes are zero then we have to fill the frequency at their corresponding indexes while iterating over the input string once our frequency array is filled then we will be uh, then we will be running our for loop over the frequency array and at every iteration we will be checking whether that element was present in the whether that element was present in the input string or not if it was present then we will be generating a character out of the index because 0 plus 97 will give us 97 and similarly 1 plus 97 will give us 98 and corresponding to 98 sky value the uh, character will be b now we have got the b character we will append it to our answer string answer plus equal to ch and after that character after that character we will be appending the frequency of that character inside the string using this two string method and error of i represents the frequency of that character now you will be saying that uh, how we have kept uh, kept the record of that whether the output string will be sorted or not see we are we will be running the loop from starting to end this will be our position of running the loop this will be our position for running the loop so first index 0 will come then 1 then 2 then 3 so 0 index represents a and now using this index we are converting into character so our output string will automatically become in the sorted order only so i hope now the entire uh, entire approach is clear to you now let's just move to the coding question and guys if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe it and please comment down that yes you want more such videos because this give, will give me motivation for making more such videos for you so guys now let's just move to the coding part okay so guys for saving time i have already, already implemented the function so in exam also you will just have to implement this function what is the input in this function it is string str okay let me just remove it okay so first of all what we'll do we will declare a frequency array of size 26 which will be initially in which all the values will be zero that is frequency of all the elements will be zero now then we will uh, iterate over our input string to fill the frequency array so here this this is the logic that i have told you that how we will have to fill the frequency array now after this for loop is over then our frequency array will be updated with the frequencies that are uh, of the characters which are present in our input string now we'll take a string answer variable that we have to return okay so after this okay the answer variable that we will have to return now again we will iterate over our frequency array now from 0 to index 26 now we'll check whether the current elements frequency is not is 0 or not because if it is not not equal to 0 it means that that character will be present in our input string so for that index we will generate the character using this formula then we will update uh, append our answer in the append our character inside this answer variable and in the end we, what we'll do we will append our uh, frequency of that uh, character in the answer variable now i've used this two string method so you for using this two string method you will have to import this library that is bit slash stdc plus plus dot h and this will pass all the test cases that will be asked from you so guys this was it for this video if you found this video helpful please subscribe the channel because lot of accenture related videos both coding as well as interview experiences will be coming in future and guys do share it among your friends thank you for watching this video